Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to send digital products via email on Razorpay payment. So I am selling my digital products with the help of payment gateway that is Razorpay. And my objective is that whenever the payment will be received by a customer on Razorpay for the digital product, then I want to send that same product through email to the customer. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Razorpay and Gmail. And that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger, we are going to take Razorpay and in action, we are going to take Gmail. And we will simply set up a connection between these two applications with the help of Pabli Connect to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to send digital products via email whenever the payment will be received from Razorpay. So I am selling digital notes with the help of Razorpay, which is an amazing payment gateway. And my objective is that whenever a person is going to purchase that notes, I want to send the PDF of that note to the customer through email. Okay. So I'm going to automate this entire process by setting up a connection between my Razorpay and Gmail in such a way that whenever the payment will be received for the digital notes, automatically the PDF will be sent to the customer through email. And I will not have to do anything manually after that. Okay. So we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation, which enables us to set up connection between multiple applications without any coding or programming skills. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. So to create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. Let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send digital products via email on Razorpay purchase. After giving this name, here I'm going to select the folder in which we have to save this workflow. So I have created a folder with the name as Razorpay and Gmail automations. I'm going to select that and now let's click on create. As we have done that, we can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's suppose because we want to sell digital products through Razorpay. So we are going to take, let's say, Razorpay in our trigger and email through which we want to send the digital notes. And we want that whenever we are going to receive the payment for the digital product, we want to send the product through email to the customer. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the payment is captured from Razorpay, then only the email is sent to the customer, otherwise not. So after understanding this concept, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that is Razorpay. So let's select that. Now we have to select the trigger event. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So payment captured will be our trigger event over here because we want that whenever the payment will be received for the digital product from Razorpay, then this workflow should automatically trigger. Okay, so we have selected a trigger event. And as we have done that, we can see that a webhook URL is provided to us. So basically, we have to use this webhook URL to set up the connection between Razorpay and Pabli Connect. And we can see that we have also received some instructions. So we have to follow these instructions step by step carefully in order to set up this connection. So now after setting up the connection, whenever the payment will be captured in Razorpay, the response of that payment will be received over here in Pabli Connect. And with that response, instantly the workflow is going to trigger. Okay, now we are going to copy this URL. And then I'm going to take you towards my Razorpay account. So this is the dashboard of Razorpay. Razorpay is an amazing payment gateway which allows us to effortlessly manage all of our payments by creating different payment links, QR codes and even payment pages. Okay, so you can see that I am currently working in test mode over here. So here I'm going to go towards accounts and settings from the left side and we will find the option of webbooks over here. So let's select that. 
Now we have to create a new webhook over here to set up the connection with Razorpay and Pably Connect. So we will click on this add new webhook button and we have to provide the URL which we have already copied from Pably Connect in this particular webhook URL field. Now after this we have to select a very important thing that is active event. So for this I am going to once again take you towards my Pably Connect account and you can see that in the instructions it is given over here very clearly that we have to select payment captured from the active events. So because we want that whenever the payment will be captured in Razorpay, the response should be captured in Pably Connect as well. Therefore, in active events, we have to select payment captured. Okay, so let's select that. Now we have to click on this create webhook button to set up this webhook. Okay, as we have done that, we can see that the webhook is saved successfully. So let's go back towards Pably Connect. We will wait for a few seconds over here. And here it is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission. How we are going to do that? By making the payment in Razorpay. Okay, so I'm going to take you towards my Razorpay dashboard once again. Here we have to go towards payment pages because in order to sell my products, I have already created a payment page over here. So I have an academy with the name as Code Craft and I provide different digital courses on that academy. Now recently I have launched a new digital notes that is for JavaScript okay. So I have launched digital Java notes for professionals. I want to sell that digital notes to the customers to the buy to the students who are already pursuing my course okay. In order to sell that product I have created a payment page in Razorpay and I have already sent the link to all the customers of that Razorpay payment page. Now I want that whenever the payment will be received for Java notes for professionals on that page I want to capture the response of that payment in Pably Connect so that I can send the digital notes to that person. Okay, now this is my payment page and this is the URL of the page. So I will simply copy this URL and then I'm going to open it in a new incognito window. So the page is open in front of us. So basically this is the page which I have created for receiving the payment for Java notes for professionals and the customers are going to make the payment by using this page. Okay, so this is the description of the notes which I am going to provide. Okay, enhance your Java expertise with our comprehensive Java notes from core concepts to advanced techniques dive deep into the world of java programming perfect for students professionals and enthusiasts alike our meticulously crafted notes offer clear explanations and practical examples to accelerate your learning journey elevate your java skills today so i have added the description in the page so in this way you can very easily create different payment pages according to different products by using razorpay now in order to do the test submission i'm going to make a test payment over here you, you can see that i'm working in test mode okay so first of all i'm going to select the payment option so i'm making the payment for java notes so the customer is going to select the drop down of java notes because they are making the payment only for java notes over here now here is the fixed amount 399 now we have to enter the details of the customer so i'm going to quickly add the details over here and because i'm doing a test submission therefore i'm going to enter all the dummy details let's start with the name dummy user email dummy user 90 at the rate publitudes.com and here will be a random phone number okay now after entering the details i'm going to click on pay option and here i'm going to make a test payment as well so to make the test payment i'm going to use card option so i'm going to select card and i have the dummy card details which is received by razorpay to make this test payment so i'm going to enter the details over here first of all the card number a random expiry date okay card holder's name a random cvv okay now i'm going to click on pay now and this is a random OTP and here we can see that we have entered the details and the payment is successful. So let's go and check whether we have received the response of this payment in Pably Connect or not. So we'll go back and here we can see that yes we have already received the response over here. In the status it is given that the amount is captured. Okay and in this response we have received all the details related to the payment as well as the customer. So now because we have received this response this means that our connection between Razorpay and Pably Connect is successful. So whenever a new payment will be received for Java notes from the customer automatically we are going to receive the response over here in Pably Connect. Now we are going to use these same details which we have received from Razorpay response in further workflow to send the email as well. Now before moving forward towards sending the email to the customer we have to make sure one thing okay that we are going to receive multiple payments in Razorpay and we do not want to run this workflow for each and every payment because there will be multiple options I only want to run this workflow when the payment will be made for the Java notes which I am selling therefore we have to apply a filter condition over here in this workflow so for that we have to move towards our action step and in our action application we have to select filter so filter is an amazing feature by Pably which allows us to set the conditions in the workflow according to our requirements here after 
after selecting the application we have to select the action event as well that will be filter values let's click on connect now we have to select the condition over here so what condition we want to apply we want to apply the condition that if we are going to receive the payment from razor pay and that will be for java nodes then only we want to run this workflow otherwise not so first of all in order to set that condition we have to select the label so the label will be the value which we have received from the response so we have received the response payment entity nodes payment for java nodes so we have already selected the drop down function in razor pay while making the payment each and every customer is going to do that same so when the customer is going to select the drop down as java nodes then we want to run this workflow so we are going to select the label as this java nodes okay and because we have inserted the data by using our previous step that means it has become dynamic and now it is going to change with each and every new response this process is called as mapping mapping makes the data dynamic so now whenever we are going to receive a new payment from razor pay automatically the label is going to be replaced according to the new response okay now we have to select the filter type that will be equal to and here i am going to select the value so what value you want to match in in order to set the conditions so i want to set the condition as that if we are going to receive the payment for java nodes then the workflow should continue so the value over here will be java nodes so now whenever we are going to receive a new response if the label will be equal to java nodes then the workflow is going to continue otherwise not and because we have entered the value over here manually so it will be same each time so in the same manner you can set the filters according to your requirements in the value you can add the digital product which you want to sell okay now we are going to click on save and send test request button to check this workflow condition whether it is true or false and we can see that the condition is absolutely true because here our label is matching the value but in case if we will receive a new response and the label will not match the value then the workflow is going to stop over here okay now finally because the condition is true we want to send the email to the customer along with a note so we are going to click on this add action step button and we will simply connect gmail over here with public connect because i want to send this email with the help of gmail okay now i'm going to select the action application as gmail now we have to select the action event as well that will be send email let's click on connect and because i have already built a connection earlier as well with my gmail account therefore here i'm going to select the existing connection only but in case if you want to create a new connection then you have to click on this add new connection button and then when you are going to click on connect with gmail your work will be done okay now i'm going to click on save and we can see that gmail is successfully connected with pabli connect so let's move forward first of all it is asking us for the recipient email address that on which address you want to send this email so we want to send this email to the customer so we will simply map the email address of the customer over here as i have already told you that mapping is inserting data from previous step so we will select our previous step and we will search for the email when we will select that it is mapped so as i told you that when we have mapped this data it has become dynamic now with each and every new response this email is going to be replaced with a new email of the new customer and in this way we are going to automatically send emails to all the customers along with the digital notes okay now the next is sender name that who is sending this email so i want to give the name over here the name of my academy so i will enter code crafters academy over here through which i am selling the digital notes the next is email subject so we are sending this email for the java notes therefore i am going to enter the subject of this email as your java notes unlock your coding potentials okay so this will be the subject and you can see that i have entered the subject and the sender name manually so this means that now they are not going to change okay because they have become static now the next is the email content type so it will be plain and now we have to enter the email content because i want to send this email in the customized format to each and every customer therefore i'm going to enter the name of the customer as well over here and in order to make the name dynamic so that it could change with each and every new response i am going to use mapping over here once again so i will simply map the name of the customer over here now i'm going to enter the rest of the content So this is the email which I want to send along with the digital notes. Dear Dummy user, thank you for choosing Code Crafters Academy for your Java learning. We are excited to provide you with our meticulously crafted Java notes designed to help you master the intricacies of Java programming from the comfort of your own space. In this digital package, you will find a treasure trove of comprehensive notes covering everything from the fundamental of Java to advanced concepts and techniques. Whether you are a beginner eager to dive into the world of programming or a seasoned developer looking to enhance your skills, our notes are tailored to suit. of your learning needs okay so this is the whole message which i want to send you can craft your message according to your requirements and your choice okay based on the course based on the digital product which you are selling now after entering this email content i am going to attach the link as well of the digital note pdf now we have to provide first of all the name of that file which we are sending so i am sending the file java notes for professionals so i am going to give the name as now the next is attachment url so this is the pdf of the digital notes which i am going to sell so i am going to simply copy this pdf link 
and I'm going to attach it over here in the attachment field. In the same manner, whatever product you are selling, you have to attach the link of that product so that you can send it in the PDF format. Okay, so it will be easy to open. Now we are going to click on save and send test request button. And as we have done that, we can see that the email is sent. So let's go and check whether the email is received on the email address which we have mapped over here or not. And yes, we can see that we have received the email over here. This is from Code Crafters Academy and this is the name dummy user. This is the name of the customer and here is the PDF of notes. This means that our connection between Razorpay and Gmail is absolutely successful. So now whenever we are going to receive a new payment from Razorpay, quickly the notes will be sent to that customer and that too automatically. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to test this workflow whether it is running fine or not. I will go back towards Razorpay. This is the payment page link. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to open it in a new tab. And now once again, I'm going to make the payment with all new details this time. So let's select the payment for Java notes. Okay, this is very important. Now the amount is already selected over here. So we are going to enter the details of the customer. Let's say this time the name of the customer is smart user. Email is smart user 56 at the rate fabritudes.com and here will be the phone number. Okay, now let's click on pay. Once again, I'm going to make the payment with the dummy card. Okay, so let me make the payment over here after entering all the details and the payment is successful. So now we are going to go back towards Gmail and we will check whether automatically the email along with the notes is received to the customer or not. And yes, we can see that the email is received and this time the email is for smart user. This means that our workflow is running perfectly fine. So let's just quickly summarize what we have done here in the workflow. So we have taken very simple steps, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken Razorpay and in action, we have taken filter and Gmail. And we have connected all of them with the help of Fabdi Connect in such a way that now whenever we are going to receive a new payment from Razorpay, automatically a Gmail will be sent to the customer along with the digital product. In this way, you can sell your digital products very easily with the help of Razorpay and Gmail and you can automate this entire process by setting up the connection between these applications with the help of Fably Connect. Okay, so you can see that we have created this entire workflow without any requirement of coding and programming skills. In the same manner, you can also create the workflow. Okay, you can change the things according to your requirements and you can set the work. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.